Hi guys, a very warm welcome from Archery Creations. Today we are starting a brand new project where we will be learning how to create this beautiful Kerala mural style of Krishna ji. Now we will be learning how to make Krishna ji in this Kerala mural style. I will be doing this video in different parts, so it's very important that you follow the video step by step. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel right away. Press the bell button or the notification button so that you can be notified as soon as I put up my second part of the video. Today we will be doing the first part of the video. So let us quickly get started. For the first step, we need any canvas. Here I am taking an A4 size canvas. You can take any company canvas. It can be a board canvas or a mount canvas. This is a board canvas that I am taking. You can also go in for taking any mount canvas. And it is, you can also use your homemade canvas. I have already put in video on how you can create your own homemade canvas. So even you can do that to create your canvas. So as a first step, we are going to trace the entire painting. And I have provided my tracing. It, the tracing is on my Facebook page, Arjati Creations. You will find the picture of the tracing. I have also shared the tracing on the WhatsApp group. So you can take the tracing from there as well. I am going to be using my red carbon paper here. You can also go in for using your yellow carbon paper to trace the complete painting onto your canvas. So that is the first step. So now I have traced my complete picture of Krishnaji onto this. Okay. If any part is left, just out, do an outline with your pencil like the way I am doing right now. So that your complete figure is available to you. Now here I have not done the outline big here because of the more funky pattern which will be coming. Here we have done an outline of the hair of Krishnaji. So if you see I have done complete detailed tracing. All the lines have been completely traced in detail. Do detailed tracing work. I follow the tracing completely trace it. Even if you want to hand draw it then you can hand draw the complete painting draw each and every detail of the painting onto your canvas so you've done your tracing and now we are starting with our second step for the second step here take this color of burnt sienna this color is a camlin color of burnt sienna that i'm taking and take out now once you've taken out burnt sienna Keep a bowl of water ready or handy with you. We do not want to add too much amount of water onto this because otherwise it is going to become very difficult for us to do our lining work. Here I am using a double zero. You can use a double zero or a triple zero brush to do the outlining. Now it's preferable to use a very thin tip brush to do your outlining because we will be outlining each and every curve of the painting. Don't add too much water into this when you are doing this. Now Kerala murals are traditional paintings which were done. They were done to adorn the walls and very few colors were used in the original forms of Kerala mural paintings and the colors that were used were all natural colors. Now we use synthetic colors but the original Kerala mural paintings were made using natural colors like all the traditional Indian folk arts. The paintings were made using traditional colors that were made. Mainly the colors that are used are ochre, yellow, white, sap green or the you know forest green color and white black blue was introduced in the kerala mural style much later on initial works of kerala mural that you see will not have blue in them so that has to be kept in mind for this painting we will be using blue to depict krishna ji and in this painting you will learn a lot of tricks of how to mix the colors how to do the blending and shading and create beautiful hues of the colors in acrylic Style. Now since I am doing it on a canvas, I am using my acrylic but if you want to do it on a paper, you can also try using the same colors and doing it on paper using your poster colors or your watercolors as well. We have already done a detailed step by step Kerala mural painting. 
painting of Vinayaka or Ganesh ji. So even that painting and the various videos which have been done step by step to create the Vinayaka painting are mentioned in the description box. So don't forget to go and have a look at those videos as well. Please if you are liking the video and you are liking our content, please press the like button to encourage us to keep creating lovely content like this. And if you would like to learn more Kerala mural style paintings, do mention in the description box below the description box in our comment section so that we are more inspired also let us to know which deity you would like to learn in the kerala mural style so that we can plan to create videos on your interest interested deity on the deity you want to learn or any other styles of kerala mural as well we've also done a detailed video on the lotus in kerala mural style step by step so i will mention the link of that also in the description box so that you can go through that as well now this detailed lining work has to be done this work requires a lot of patience but believe me the final effect or the final look of the painting is really beautiful Right now, I have provided you the tracing of my sketching of the painting. But traditionally, a graph was handmade, and then the entire paintings were drawn by the artists, and they were drawn really light. After which, this would actually make the base of the Kerala mural drawings. So these were the drawings that were made. The entire drawings were sketched out in this color after they were hand drawn. So now. Let us first do it here. So here below the hand of Krishna ji, we are showing a matka of makhan. So this basically these curves are representing the makhan. Curvy figures, curvy lines were very popular in Kerala mural and in almost all paintings you will find a lot of shading done beautifully along the curved lines so it is very important to create these curved lines in the traditional style so give it a Kerala mural style now here this is the line of the matka okay i'm going to give a double line here okay so this part is not traced in your tracing so just be careful Okay, and here comes the body of the matka. So if you plan to get it framed, a little part, a very little one, hardly one centimeter will go in the framing. So we are going to paint it edge to edge. Here in the outside part also, you are free to create patterns of your choice. But I will be sticking to the traditional style of creating swirls like this. So I am creating swirls in the backdrop. Like this. Just cover up creating your swirls. So this is a part of the jewelry that I am extending here. Okay, now we come to the hand. So these are the rings that are being worn. Uh, complete the hand out here. Now this comes the Bansuri of Krishna ji.
so when you are doing this part so these curves are drawn you will find these kind of intricate patterns in all the deity figures that we do so just do it very delicately do each and every curve in detail okay let me do these curves in detail here Okay, I'm going to do the same thing this side and show you. So here I have done this part also. Now we are going to finish the arm. So some of these motis we are going to do in white color. Some of the motis here in the deities figure we are going to be doing in the yellow color. So that's why I'm doing an outline of all. And later on I'll show you how to create pearls as well. This side also we have the earring. But it is covered by the hand. These pearls are going to continue. I have not drawn it in the tracing. Just continue the pearls here. We are going to be making pearls here also. We are going to do an outline of all the features of the face in detail using the same color. this way now comes the leaves let me show you how to draw one or two of them so here we are drawing big leaves to give a contrast to the detailed work that we are going to be doing in Krishnaji, the leaves are comparatively bigger and they will have lesser color, not too much of blending or shading. So this way just create big leaves on the top part. That is going to help us in blend our colors well and is going to balance the intricate work of the deity with the less intricate work of the leaves. Now we have drawn all the leaves. I have left the leaves here in the portion of the more punky because we are going to be doing detailed uh, design work, detailed shading in the more punky. So just leave a little area close to the more punky where we can do the feather patterns and the feather shading. So just leave that area. Just do an outline of the more punk like that. Again for the uh, mukut here. I am doing the detailed line work. Now since there is not much space here, I am limiting it to two lines, okay? Let me do this side also. So now I have finished the lining work. Now we let the lining dry up completely before we do a very light base onto the background. For that, let me show you what on colors we are using. First, we are using a permanent yellow medium color which is a 338 in camel. And second color we are using is a titanium white which is 423. Now here what we are going to be doing is, here it is going to be more of white. So I am just taking little bit of yellow color here and I will be taking more of my white color here. So almost white is three times the amount of yellow that we have taken. 
and I'm going to mix it up into a pale yellow and this is going to be very watery in nature just mix it and add a little bit of water onto this here I'm going to just do a background coat for this now this color I'm only going to be doing in the background and I'm not going to put it on top of the mold punk I'm just doing it in the leaves here okay, don't worry the leaves will be completely visible this is a very pale color of yellow so your leaf outline that you have done is going to be visible Even in this area where you have your makkhan, in this area we are going to do a colored yellow base. Now if you feel that the color becomes very pale after drying up then you can do another coat of it and let it dry and we are going to meet in our part 2.